and welcome to Mike Nerichlo Online, sharing my love for people, wine, food, and all things made passionately. All right, today's show, we're carrying on in our wines from Chile episode. And like I mentioned, we're looking for value from Chile. So we've done Carmenere, we've done Sauvignon Blanc, so we went red, white, we're going back to the red realm. Now, I've had the privilege of doing a lot of really interesting tastings of Chilean wine. One grape variety that's really stood out to me at Chile, and I think you're going to find great value because it hasn't been, hasn't been latched onto yet, is Syrah from Chile. Syrah is it's super interesting from Chile. They're making some really neat stuff there. So a little bit of back history for you on Syrah. Syrah, originally from the Rhone Valley in France. They're making more of that cool climate, more bright acidic style of red with it. And also Shiraz, same grape variety coming out of Australia. They're making that big, extracted, jammy, robust style of Syrah, Shiraz, whatever the heck you want to call it. So I'm really curious to see what these ones from Chile are offering us. I was hunting for value. Excuse me. So I'm going to see what we get. This one, the first one, is a blend I'm going to share with you. It's the Estampa Estate from Chile. Now this is a Syrah Cab Sav blend, but it's 85% Syrah, 15% Cab Sav. So let's try it out. $14 for the first one. Really curious how it goes. Okay, on the nose. Okay, right off the bat on the nose. It, this one's got a meatiness to it. It reminds me, when I say meaty, sometimes it's gamey, like wild game, sometimes blah, 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 blah. In this case, this is meaty. It tastes, it smells like ground beef. Totally. It smells like you're just frying up ground beef. I smell ground beef. I smell a lot of really neat fruit flavors. You get kind of those blackberry flavors. When I say blackberry, in this case, I mean blackberries, blueberries, maybe hints of raspberry in there. Those kind of aromas. It's got a neat greenness to it. Probably coming from the Cab Sav, I'm gonna say kind of a green bell pepper. Almost a tobacco leaf, something in that realm. Something kind of like a dirty tobacco leaf. It's got an interesting nose, this one. Hmm. Okay, on the palate, 14 bucks. It's a blend, it's got all the pieces there. Um, I'm going to say this one's, it's a little disjointed. It's got all the pieces, but it's kind of playing around. It's under screw cap. It's meant to be drunk fresh. You can get that off of it. <laughs> Missed the camera. Um, I'm going to say it's kind of got those blackberry meets blueberry, maybe tart raspberry flavors. A little bit of that earthy dirtiness to it. I don't know if you can hear that, but that lid's rolling away over there. Anyway. Dirty, earthy aromas to it. Um, I'm going to say hints of green bell pepper on the finish. Meaty. It's a good wine. The one thing I find disjointed about that's throwing me for a little bit of a loop is the tannic finish. The tannin on this is coming across a little bit, a little bit powerful. It's a little bit mouth drying. Um, and the tannins are kind of green. They're green and almost slightly bitter. Not sour, slightly bitter. Kind of green. Almost like when they made the wine, they didn't hand select the fruit well enough so they got some underripe fruit in there. I need a little bit of that bitterness on the finish. In this case, you're getting what you pay for, 14 bucks. It's still a very approachable wine. A lot of people are going to enjoy this one. There's nothing absolutely wrong with it. Um, it's just not epic or anything. So my wine rating system, and for those of you who don't understand my wine rating system, click the link above. It says my wine rating system. You can read all about it. This is definitely a decent wine, putting it in the realm of decent. Not quite the value that I'm hoping for from Chile. I'm not going to say, don't buy this one. I'm just going to say, it's approachable. It's a decent wine. The second one. This one is a straight-up Syrah from Chile. This is the 2008 Antu Ninkin. Antu Ninkin. That's only a different language. Anyway, 2008 Antu Ninkin, straight-up Syrah from Chile. This one goes for $22. My glass a bit of a rinse here. All right, just as I'm doing this, Here's something I want to point out to you while I'm rinsing. This is Syrah. This is extracted big Syrah. You can tell on the glass. My glass has turned purple. Don't spill this on your white shirt, your white dress, at your hoity-toity occasion, whatever you're doing. It'll stain. You're not getting it out. Okay. Let's see what this one's got to offer. And do Ninkin. Syrah from Chile. Okay. Hold on a sec.
Wow, I'm gonna need a moment with this. This nose is, I can smell this wine all afternoon. Wow, I like that, okay. On the forefront of this wine, it's got so many pieces on the nose. I don't even know what to say on the forefront. So many pieces. I get a blackberry, blueberry, same sort of Syrah characteristic that does. I think that might be kind of a signature of Chile. It's also got a kind of a sweetness to it, almost like a vanilla meets brown sugar meets licorice or fennel aromas. It's floral, just beautiful, clean smelling like wild violets or yeah, just a kind of a purple flower aroma. It's got a really interesting kind of ashy aroma, like a black charcoal sort of smell. Hmm. It's got a tartness on the nose too. Tartness reminding me of, again, of almost raspberry. Giving me that tartness, that acidity. Nice nose. Um, slight meatiness to it, almost like a, almost like a salami or a cured meat. Almost, uh, what's the right word? Prosciutto sort of aromas. Not like that raw ground beef. This wine was pretty. Like it's got things going on, but they're all simple and straight up. This has got more intricate aromas. Let's taste it. Hmm. Okay. $22. First thing I'm going to say about this wine. This is one of those wines where because I'm doing this show, I'm going to tell you all about it and what I'm tasting. But this is also one of those wines where I just want to drink it because it tastes good. That's all that counts. Really, in the wine world, here's a hint for you. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> all that really matters is if you like it, drink it. Don't worry about the rest. The rest will come if you want to turn into a nerd like me. But, yeah, this is one of those wines I just want to drink. I don't really want to think about it because it's just so balanced. Everything just works, and that's what makes it a good wine. Under cork, going to age nicely, 08. What am I tasting? That's what you want to know. Pretty much everything I said on the nose. On the palate, it's got this very balanced, clean creamy almost like if you made like a blackberry blueberry slight raspberry cream of some sort pie filling it goes down beautifully smooth in that way beautiful kind of raspberry floral acidity on the finish reminds me of violets or, or more like just kind of a subtle violet flavor oh no when you bring this up to your nose to sip it you just want to keep smelling there's a brown sugar flavors and aroma from the oak they're probably using Yeah, you get some of that. Wow. It's good wine! <laughs> you get some of that charcoal meats. It's just got so many things going on. I don't think I can cover everything I'm tasting on this. It reminds me of Dutch licorice candies. Um, it's savory. It's got the acidity. It's got everything. This wine has everything. It's got all the pieces. All the pieces in all the right places. In that case... I have to designate this for a $22 wine. I'm going to show it to you again because you need to find this one. It is worth it. Drink it. You'll like it. I promise. I'm giving this wine great. It deserves great. It's a great wine for $22. Bucks. That is good value wine. Yeah, it's over $20. So you're outside that cheap wine range. $22. Bucks. This is good wine. I'm calling it great. I like it on my wine rating system. Look for that one. I found it at just a local BCL store, so that means there's lots out there worth drinking. Thank you everybody so much for watching today. Look for value from Chile. And please don't forget <gasps> wine! Deep pretentious sized. We'll see all of you on the next episode.